G'day and welcome back to the channel. So, how's that Valiant going? So yeah, how is it going? It's about a year last week since it first fired up in my shed and it's been registered for well, almost 11 months. Done quite a few Ks in it. Been to Byron Bay, been to Tamworth. Um, use it as my daily for a long time. And um, it's needed little bits and pieces here and there, but man, you know what? It's probably one of the most fun car, funnest, fun, I don't know, what's the word? That I've owned. The old poo cart, which is going really well. So a few of the things I've done to it, um, let me open the bonnet. Be warned, it's not clean under here. It's a driven engine and um, I haven't cleaned it at all. But... So since I put it on the road, um, I have replaced the manifold again. I put that um, other manifold I had on originally. I got it sorted out. The holes were drilled incorrectly, and I wasn't able to put gaskets on properly. So the big four barrel manifold's on there with the um, 600 carburetor, and uh, it's running nice. It's really good. You know, it's a 318. It's not the most powerful engine, but she gets along pretty well. Another thing I've done is put a thermo fan on there because that big um, five or six blade fan. I think it was a five blade fan. That was sucking so much energy and fuel. Um, so I got the thermo fan on there and that's keeping the thing nice and cool. That radiator's worked out fine. Those mounts are good. There's been no dramas. I don't know how many Ks I've done or miles. I've done a lot. And it hasn't missed a beat really. It hasn't stopped. The way my back is I haven't been able to do much. But what I did do to this thing was give it another coat of Penetrol. She was wearing a bit thin. Gave the car a clean, a quick uh, scotch bright. Um, and wax and grease remover and then penetrol applied with a rag in small circles i've used penetrol be, uh, quite a number of times and if you spray it on it goes really high gloss and it just doesn't look natural it doesn't look right um, you want a bit of a dull finish so i find with a rag you don't do it in lines because it'll leave streaks but if you do it in really small circles um, you can't really see it that well so it's got that clear coat over the whole car everywhere and it gives it that nice finish i've mentioned before you need to have nice wheels on any car, especially a car that's got patina, I think nice wheels make it. I'm not into mags, I'm not into alloys, I like steelies. I have a set of 15 inch steelies which I'd like to put on, but I think these um, these wheels suit it, which I didn't expect. So another thing I did too was restore these um, charger rims, and I uh, gave them the original silver, and they had, um, chargers had that red ring around them, so I put that on, and I don't mind it. I don't mind it at all. So let's fire it up, have a listen. It's just a sweet old motor. I love it. Ticks along. And that exhaust note from a Mopar engine, you can't beat it. You cannot beat it. So believe it or not, this is the third set of seats I've had in this car. Originally I had some um, like VT, VX, Commodore, late model bucket seats, which I just didn't like the shape. They, they were comfortable. Um, I decided I was going to use them in another project, which I haven't done. And um, so I did end up putting those blue Valiant seats out of that um, CM in here for a while. But because they were high backs, I didn't like that look either, but they bolted in. Um, and then I've got these things. Now I've got they're good seats, but I've got the reason I've got covers on them is because if you're an Aussie, you're going to know exactly what these seats are out of. They're the right shape. They're like um, VB to VH Commodore bucket seats without the headrest. So they're the right colour, but I mean, everyone knows what they are. So I've just got the covers on them, but they're in good condition. They've got good lumbar support. And um, I'll probably, well, I am eventually going to retrim them. I'm gonna retrim the whole car, so. But right now, that's what's in the seating position. And the beaut thing about them, I utilize the original Valiant seat mount, so it's all kind of factory there. There's no real modifications. Yeah, so inside she's still the same. Her shifter's working nice. I haven't done anything really in here. Um, there's still no roof lining. Um, will it ever have a roof lining? I don't know. I'm honestly not fussed. 
the dash is still that original dash without the pad on it and it still looks alright I've got my little hula girl she keeps me company as I'm driving I still don't have a working radio in this thing um, something that I need to do but I did stop using it as a daily only because it was chomping the fuel it was chomping the fuel so much so I've got another daily now and this will this is going to go on historic rego um, once the rego runs out so anyway let's fire this thing up and um, go for a drive eh? There you go, the big valve. It's done, it's good. I love this car. I've been thinking about painting it, I've been thinking about doing lots of things to it, but um, I like it how it is. I wouldn't mind something a little bit more aggressive under the bonnet, so I've got a few ideas. It's all about the cashola and the ability at the moment. I'm not able, and the uh, cashola is a little bit tight. But hey, I've been getting this thing and driving anywhere, and um, it's cool, I love it. But anyway, that's it from me. Stay tuned, be good to your mates, drive safe, 
you don't have to drive like an idiot to have fun. You know, if you've got your mates in your car, don't show off because that's just dangerous. And um, anyway, that's it from me. Stay cool. See ya.